Hey guys, just wanted to shoot another quick video here for you. This is Aaron with Vacant Land, guys. Let's go check it out. So here we are. We got a 40-acre off-grid parcel close to fishing in Central Oregon. Total seclusion. Let's check it out. So this is a property of picture of the area. This is not the actual property, but that's pretty close to what you're going to be looking at. You have mountains all around you, ridges and things like that. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have a uh, great mountain and uh, prairie views nestled amongst oceans of fragrant desert sage. Uh, bring the quads, kids, horses, fishing gear, RV and camp out, or build a cabin or a tiny home. Uh, this property is good for hunting too. Tons of wildlife, mule deer, rabbits, antelope everywhere. I need to fix that. Uh, Gently rolling hills and the fishing is excellent at the nearby Chickahominy Reservoir. It's about 10 miles drive away. Um, the train on this property is flat to gently rolling. Uh, varies approximately from 4,480 feet to 4,420 feet on the lowest end. Um, there's a small protective ridge kind of along the west, but it's more like northwestern side uh, of the property. It's actually off the property but just west of you uh, then you have like little tiny little rolling areas within the property and then lots of flat areas as well um, it has one tree one lone tree in the southeast corner of the property um, yeah you're pretty isolated and secluded here so if that's what you're looking for this would be perfect uh, closest neighboring house is two miles away as a crow flies uh, so it's a little, quite a bit further if you're driving. Um, closest town is Riley. Actually, it's not really a town. It's, well, I guess you can call it a town, but it's just like a little area. It has like an archery shop and gas station. Um, you can get some snacks there. Uh, I think the bus, yeah, the bus goes through there as well. If you need to catch a bus and the uh, post office. Um, Rows of the property vary between okay and rocky. I definitely, definitely recommend four-wheel drive or a sturdy high clearance vehicle. Um, I would, and I also highly recommend bringing a chainsaw. I mean, seriously, because uh, you might run into some bigger sagebrush on the trail in. It's kind of like an old, roads are pretty good up until about a half mile getting in there. And then it gets pretty rough, like old wagon trail type rough type roads. Um, I've been in the area, I haven't been to this exact property, but I've been, well, we have another property over here, it's about 80 acres, if anybody's interested, but, um, it's, you want to bring a chainsaw, because you might run into some, uh, bigger sagebrush, and we had to cut a few down, just getting the trail in, um, nobody, nobody's going to care out here, it's, it's pretty, you're pretty out there, and everybody's pretty cool, so, um, yeah. Bring chainsaw. <laughs> uh, it's zoned EFRU one, which uh, would require you to apply for a condition use permit for from the planning department if you're putting a home on the property. Um, you need, I think it's 80 acres for an EFRU dash one. It could be 160, but anyway, um, you can apply for that. I hear it's pretty easy to get. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, here's some images of the area. That might be of the property of itself, actually. Let me just snap that. No, no, that's something. No, that's something else. Um, here's property right here. Here's an idea. This is kind of a lake that's that fills up, I guess, in the spring, which is right here. It's a picture of that. But uh, yeah, we'll jump into Google Earth, and uh, here's here's train images, and we'll show you. Uh, just more images. I'll let you guys take a look at all that stuff. But um, here's all the pertinent information you need. Uh, yeah, just uh, your GPS coordinates, where it's at, your taxes for year, closing dock fees. Um, this is a cash or sales deal. Um, all cash discount of seven thousand nine hundred ninety nine or terms. You can do five thousand down and a hundred month. Or for 72 months at zero percent interest and no fees. Um, it's 40 acres. Uh, yeah, and on this you can give us a call. 
um, we'll work with you on, on the terms and everything because we own this property and uh, we are the bank essentially if we're going to do terms so we can we'll work with you uh, here's APN legal description yada 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 all this stuff a uh, little bit about us uh, let's fly over here to Google Earth and uh, take a look so here we are here's Central Oregon um, here's that other eighty we own anybody's interested in that uh, yeah so here's a property so this looks like possibly a fence right through here and then teeing off this way I'm not sure I haven't been to this one and there's your lone tree right here in the corner and then this is all sagebrush here Let's fly you down this looks like sure looks like a fence line to me right along here and then like you kind of see some tire tracks but um, yeah I'll just fly you down so this is sorry I'm gonna make you guys sick here Let's blow this up a bit bigger so this is facing north so yeah that sure looks like a road maybe a fence or something right there here's one corner here's another corner so this is facing north, so you, you slope slightly rolling hills here and there. And then facing east, you can build up on this ridge here. And you have a view of these beautiful mountains here. And you see this blue? This is actually a reservoir, the Chip Chickahominy Reservoir. I could be saying that wrong. I'll, we'll take a look at it here in a minute. And that's about 10 miles drive away to get there. The closest neighbor is somewhere up in here. It's about two miles over this way somewhere. Um, and here's looking uh, south. You got these beautiful protective ridges all along here, all to your south. And even to your to your east a little bit too. So let's fly you down. So you got let's try to get down here right on the ground. So you got like a little ridge that kind of runs along the west side of the property here. Let's get up here. So guys, not so good with the Google Earth. Um, yeah, so you get like a little bit higher elevation here. But this is mostly mostly flat, slightly sloped. Um, let's uh, let's zoom out and take a look at uh, some pictures if we can. This is that lake I was telling you about. It's really close to the property. Let's get facing north again. So I guess this lake, this is represents a body of water on Google Earth. It's a little bit off, but uh, this represents uh, well, this is a lake here. I guess it fills up from time to time, maybe in the spring or winter when it rains. You can see, you can see that's water. Uh, sheep Lake, not dry in July. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Um, but yeah, getting getting into the property, might as well take a look at it. So you got Highway 20, Central Oregon Highway 20 right here. So you can come in through coming from like say Bend or something bends up over this way come in through Bend come down in here or if you're coming up south through Cali or something or east you can come in on highway 20 I'm not sure there's a couple ways you can get to this property I haven't been there but it looks like you can come in cut down this road here go down this road this looks like I think this is yeah this is power line so this is pretty well maintained. There's all power lines here. And it looks like there might be a trail running through here. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that way in. Uh, maybe this might be the best way to come in through here. Come up 20. I think this is best road. I was trying to, trying to figure it out earlier. But yeah, that's just a two yeah, you're gonna need four wheel drive on that. You can see sage, there's a little sagebrush in the road. 
Uh, it looks like it's kind of someone's maintaining a little bit there. Come in here. And you come up here, go along this road, cross underneath the power lines, and then up to uh, Sheep Lake. And this also, this looks like it might fill up too. There's some little water in there, you can see. And I think, yeah, I think this is all BLM land, but you're going to have to double check on that. Uh, come along on this road here. The road continues up through this way, through here, down here. Although, I don't know about this road here. Uh, here's your property right here. And this is this is why I was telling you you want to bring a chainsaw. Because I, I zoomed in earlier. And it looks like there's an old wagon trail there. So, definitely four-wheel drive. Definitely recommend bringing a chainsaw. Or something to cut sagebrush down. Because there might be some little ones. Or some big ones in your way. But yeah, you can kind of see there's a big tree. Right there, so that'd be your landmark. You kind of see the road turns right there. Now, Google says there's a road here, but I don't know about that. But yeah, I guess you can figure it out. <laughs> Try to get in here, and then that sure looks like a fence line to me. Get there, and then you can see there's some tire tracks running through here. But then again, you know. It's, you're out there, man. It's isolated. So, yeah, come down here. Go through here. Now, you know, it looks like there's a road coming right into here this way, too. Yeah, those, those are tire tracks. So, yeah, I mean, you could... Yeah, that's that other road. Come in 20. Get on this road. Come up through here. Looks like cut over... Yeah, cut over this way. That looks more realistic. And then coming down along, yeah, you can see the tire tracks come down along here. And right on your property. Spit you out right here, I guess. Somehow. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, let's take a look at some pictures. We already looked at Sheep Lake. Here's that reservoir I was going to show you guys. Chickahominy Reservoir. And uh, here the fishing's pretty good. They got like a little dock and a boat ramp you bring in here. So you can put in there and go fishing all day. And this is a campground, this whole area here. So you can go camp in there, camp overnight. Looks like you can drive up along here. Looks like oh, looks like there's little camp spots here. Yeah. Camp around the lake. That's pretty cool. Didn't that before. And uh, yeah, here's uh, try to fly in to see what we got going on here. It's snow in the winter. Here's here's the area of what they call Riley. Uh, I'm just gonna fly in. It's above ground gas station there. Um, it's not getting the image, but this is a post office right there. Gas there. Uh, they have archery supplies. This is a, a Greyhound bus stop, I believe. I was looking at earlier. Um, you can grab some snacks and stuff. I don't think they have much for groceries. You're going to have to go go into uh, Christmas Valley or actually Burns might be closer for uh, all your amenities. Yeah, here's Burns. Burns is probably your closest bigger town. Uh, yeah, that's where I pulled that image from. That image is. This is your oh, sagebrush sanctuary. A little area they save for the sagebrush. Um, and these are all national forests all around. You see these yellow markings? It's got national forests here. Everything. Uh, yeah, like I was saying before, I, I'm pretty sure this is all BLM land, kind of this area out through here. But definitely double check on that. Um, what else was I going to show you? I had something bookmarked here. Oh, here's pictures of that store in Riley. So, yeah. 
Riley store and archery open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Get your gas there. A little pond, a little sitting area. Stretch your legs. Plenty of room for your RV. It's a pretty big store, but I guess there's not a whole lot going on in it. Yeah, this is your Eastern Point Greyhound bus stop right here. I guess you wait out over there somewhere. Um, yes. Hey, thanks to Shopkeeper. We had a flat tire just nine miles away. He helped us out. Oodles of stuff that you may need from quick snack to all sorts of archery supplies. Has a reasonably priced gas and a billion freaking maps for everywhere you could want in the state of Oregon. You want another backgrounds in forest? They have you covered. Also, if you have a penchant for camel or real tree, this is your stop. All right. True story. The guy filling the above ground gas tank overflowed it all over the ground. This ain't the big city. Watch me drop your cigarette. <laughs> awesome. Uh, see you're out there, man. Uh, stopped here on the way to Montana from Cali. Going up 395. Not many places to stop. Okay, if you want snaps, snacks like candy, chips, jerky, and soda. Otherwise, you have to keep going. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You want to go into burns. You want to get uh, other amenities. Uh, yeah, so I'll have a link on this on our website. You can go to vacantlandguys.com. You can check right out. It'll probably be right here. Be uh, 7999 or we can do terms, 5000 down and 100 bucks a month. Uh, yeah, thanks for uh, listening, guys. This is Aaron from Vacant Land Guys, 971-225-7024. Thanks.